Mall Teasers returns today to Walk in the Candy Aisle. Hey everyone, uh, my name is Jeff, and here's a review of the Mall Teasers Teasers Chocolate Bar. That's right, Mall Teasers returning again. I have uh, I did review in the past the Mall Teasers like actual Mall Teasers, which normally just comes in little balls. You get like a bag full of malt balls covered in chocolate. But uh, and I reviewed another Mall Teasers product actually once called the Mall Teasers. Malteaster Bunny, which was like, a, a, it was like an Easter version of the Maltesers, but it was all malt inside and then covered in chocolate. This is, um, though, this is different. This is a crunchy little Maltesers pieces floating in creamy milk chocolate. So it's just little pieces of Malteser, which I actually think is a good idea in theory, because I'll say that I felt like the Malt Easter Bunny was, uh, was too much malt. Like you gotta get that ratio right, you know what I'm saying? Maltesers is of course a Mars product, so uh, I don't know. This is something you can get if you are somewhere where you can buy Mars products. I think uh, this was picked up in uh, at the Edinburgh airport, I believe. Or was it Glasgow? It might have been Glasgow. Anyway, that is an ugly looking bar, right? It looks like, uh, I don't know. <laughs> like the bottom looks fine. It's like a crunchy or so, like a, a Nestle Crunch bar or something. But like, it's supposed to have these nice round balls here, but then like, it's like, eh, that is it is patterning officially? Or is that just like, no, I think that's official patterning because it all, because every single one looks like that. Does it look like it's like bubbling up or something? Some, some sort of weird growth? on it that doesn't look appetizing at all oh i really don't like that but i like the way it looks it smells good i mean uh, you know let's let's give it a shot <laughs> yeah let's get let's just give it a shot hmm hmm oh interesting Actually, it's interesting, you know, you know, I mentioned Nestle Crunch, um, and it actually has almost the same textured distribution of malt pieces that the Crunch has, um, crispies. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. But, of course, these are not crispies, guys. These are little pieces of of that malt malt candy that you would find in um, in uh, you know in a Maltesers or you know any of your malt balls that you might eat out there. Maltesers, I guess, are I think the most popular probably. Well, it does not have the problem that I think the Malteser bunny had. Um, with the distribution, because I think that this is a, the ratio, I mean, of the chocolate to the, to the malt. Because look at how dense those, um, malt pieces are. It's actually probably more dense than, a uh, Nestle Crunch Bar. Right? Like, there is a lot of, uh, malt in there. But, I think it's better that they're just pieces rather than just a single block of malt. That honeycombed malt stuff, you know. Hmm. I like it. I mean, I like it. I always like the texture of malt. I think I still prefer the malt balls, like a regular Malteser malt ball, than to, to something like this. Um, but I get why you might want this. I don't know if the form factor is any benefit to it, though. Like Maltesers you would think are not great because it's a ball form, but really like the, the, they've done a great job with packaging Maltesers and you know, you've been able to get it generally in most candy aisles, you know, where they sell them for years. Like I, I don't see a really a problem with it. It's just like getting a bag of M&Ms or something a little bit messier, maybe. 
But uh, I don't feel like this form factor of a chocolate bar makes it any better. Um, and I still think that like the Malteser, it has that, you know what the Malteser has? It has that like, you, you crack it in half and then you've got that, that, you know what? It's got that little, the one little like chunk of malt that you can kind of like put your tongue on and let it like dissolve on your tongue. You know what I'm talking about? You guys know what I'm talking about. I'm sure you do. Everyone's done it. Who has had Maltesers? So uh, I still think that that's a, that's a more satisfying <laughs> eating experience <laughs> than this. But I think that the taste wise, this is pretty good. I just don't think it quite lives up to uh, uh, Maltesers in terms of the, I don't know, the, uh, the presentation, the, right? Um, but it's not bad. I don't mind, I, I, I don't really, as I said, I don't like this design work. But um, I guess I like I like the size, and uh, and the taste is pretty good. So it's up there, but it's not quite there. Still think Maltesers is the way to go. But the Maltesers teasers is definitely an interesting uh, direction for them to go. I'd be interested to see if they uh, if they try any alternate skews. You know, like what would a Maltesers be if you added um, I don't know like a layer of caramel to it. That would probably totally wreck it. But it's just, you know, I'm just suggesting that maybe you could try something different with Maltesers and uh, it might be interesting. Anyway, uh, that's my take on it. Walking the Candy Guy is going to rate the Maltesers Teasers Chocolate Bar. I'm going to rate it a 3 out of 5. Um, it's it's pretty good, but it's not uh, it's certainly not great. Uh, you guys let me know if you've had a chance to try this one in the comments below. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Click the links if you'd like to see more reviews. And I'll talk to you next time. Okay, so long.